Greetings, all of you. I'm just sitting there suddenly. Little little yips, no hatch. And welcome back to Cosmeteer with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome back to the new system where recently we so heroically saved the base of one of our enemies. However, moments after I turned off the recording software, this happened. It was attacked by an enemy with railgun and it knocked out an entire chunk of the enemy and that got me thinking that very soon we need to devise ways of defending against this type of enemy. Things with railguns, missiles, ion emitters, anything with super long range. And rather than going with the smarter approaches, I'm thinking maybe the tractor beam. Now the tractor beam seems to be really fun, it has a push and a pull setting and if I'm correct we could get into some pretty dark territory by pulling allied ships near the sun and then pushing them in. Why would we do this? First of all, because it would be hilarious. Second of all, I think we could still loot them. I don't know if you send your crew into that danger area. Does the crew take damage? Is that programmed in? If it isn't, we are going to be sending our people into the sun. I've also heard tell that apparently somewhere in this territory there is very valuable asteroids. So it, once we have a mining vessel, we could put a tractor emitter on that. But still, I think this will work out really well, having the tractor emitter bring things towards us and then destroying them in close range. That also means, though, what we might want to consider is some of the other short-range options, things like the flak cat- uh, yeah, the flak battery, rather. This is a defensive one, but it can inflict moderate damage to enemy ships in a short range. Bring them into these jaws, and then flak cannons activate, and we destroy them that way. I think that would be really interesting. So, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to loot the station for everything it's worth. Then I'm going to go and get into some fights with the tractor beam, see how effective it actually is. Then we're going to try and throw things into the sun. We've grabbed ourselves a friend. They were trading and actually half of their crew have been left behind, which is interesting. So we're now incredibly close to the sun. I've just swapped this over now to push rather than pull. And if it goes correct... This is going into the damage territory. And if we keep it there for long enough... What I'm hoping is its command centers will go before anything else. I probably should stop now. Because it's getting too far in. Okay, so now we need to pull it. So once again, aim at it, but now we swap that to pull... Oh no. Is it too far away? Got ya. It's okay if we graze it because our shields are there. Is it still the command centers or is it now salvageable? Oh, it's now salvageable. There we go. So we've just <laughs> destroyed the ship. Still got reactors and such. Okay, so I want to see what happens to our people if we send them into the sun. Once again, I am aware that I'm probably committing a litany of crimes right now. Should have just disabled them there, shouldn't I? Okay, still getting used to that. So where's the person we're sending? There they are. Let's see what happens to them. If they survive, that'll be love. Oh! <laughs> they went splat! Okay, so that's a problem. And I guess I can't just select individual bits of loot. Okay. Interesting. Hey everyone, Future Lathrix here, just to say that this video may be my very favourite video I've ever recorded in terms of just having fun whilst recording. This was absolutely goofy. It turns out that the tractor beam is insanely fun, basically game-breaking if used in certain ways, and is actually useful in normal fights, which I swear past Lathrix will eventually get to after committing all sorts of war crimes against his former allies. It is... Really goofy to say the least, this entire recording session was just an utter blast, but difficulty will ramp up by the end and you'll certainly see what I mean there. So I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, likes and comments help out massively. All of the interaction so far has helped Cosmeteer be a great series on the channel, and hopefully it will stay around for a long time because I am having so, so much fun with it. And as a last note, I am still currently moving house. The big move is literally this week, probably on the day or the day after you see this video, so it should all be finished by the end of November and then a normal recording schedule will be back in action with my brand new office. 
So expect to see more videos on the channel very soon. Okay, this is a very rambly future Lathric section. I'm very tired and I've been packing stuff all day. So, thank you. And now back to the past with our lovely tractor beam. Okay, let's haul the corpse back to the forge. Well, that's the onset now in the sun. And let's stop that now, it's a bit too far. I'm hoping the command centers go. Get ready to re-grab it just in case it manages to get out alive. Ah, threw it a little bit too far. That's going to be the main problem. I wish you could set it to a certain range. Like so many meters away from the ship. Yep, there goes the onset. We got a little bit of metal. Hmm. So this base is no longer giving us any missions which increase our fame. This is going to take a while and probably won't be worth it. We're picking up friends on the way. Wow, it's allies just taking that. I expected that to stop itself a little bit. Oh, that is so slow and merciless. I love it so much. This is definitely one of the stupidest things I've done in a while. Okay, begin, begin pulling it out. It's going to start destroying itself now. At least slow it down. Oh, Lord. Okay, full reverse, please. Don't pull me into the sun. Perfect. Therefore, it'll get to the reactor. Is it going back in again? Or am I just moving? No! Why are you being pulled? Oh, the sun probably has gravity. That makes sense. No! I want some loot from this! Destroy that reactor! Oh, you are so annoying. Okay, push it back in. Gently. This is precision. Stupid, cruel precision. Yes. Yes. Come on, reactor, go! Are you a corpse yet? Yes, you are! Okay. It's actually been a corpse for a while, I think. There we go. <laughs> Let's take you home. Looking back at the footage, it's actually incredibly easy to tell when it became a corpse, but uh, yeah, I just didn't notice because I was too busy just focusing. <laughs> Let's get nice and far away from the sun before we do anything else, eh? Selling lots of stuff to make space for a station's worth of resource. Well, a quarter of a station's worth of resource. <laughs> Okay, so I've made it so I'm no longer grabbing steel. I'm grabbing everything else, though. Which already has been a lot of stuff. Look at all of that uranium. I mean, it's only like a quarter of the station. If, if it did better, maybe I could have got more. But my god, that is so much resource. Perfect. I promise I will do other things today, by the way. But this is just insanely fun. And I am planning on going to a harder difficulty area very soon, so I'm just going to just gather all the resources of the system and jump out. We need to keep getting fame, and there's almost none left to get in the system already. So I don't want to do too many upgrades before we go to the new system and get some more fame, but I have added some more deck cannons, because cannons just make me happy. So I added two more, one here, one there, with their own little ammo compartment and their own little housing compartment. If these go up, they are close enough to this reactor, they might cause problems, but I think they'll be okay. I think there's enough space there. We'll see when it happens, I suppose. There's a good chunk of armor on both sides. They're partially covered by these shields. It's going to take some very specific shots for these two to go down. So I think that'll be all right. Honestly, I think the next major upgrade is just, is just going to be a new ship. I think it's going to be a secondary ship, probably with other weapon types. Maybe an energy-based ship. 
like, since I kind of like how the Malal's Wrath has ended up. Though we could separate these and add more stuff to the side. We'll see as we get there. Now, one thing a lot of people have told me to do is this. The alternating fire on the cannons. I'm not too sure if that's going to be better or worse, but we'll see. Going to throw them all onto alternating. I think that's all of them. We'll see how that does. Oh, yeah, you as well. Only fire when I've got a target, please. Otherwise, you'll be wasting so many shots. Could do anything to these things? No. Yeah, these all just have fire at will, honestly. As I've been doing before, they seem to be doing absolutely fine. Okay, we continue our journey towards this hyperline. Oh. We're just going to jump to the hyperline, so that's going to be way faster. Then we're going to go to a harder area. Decided not to jump, just because, well, this stuff's valuable. But I'm sure a lot of people have yelled at me about this, but it turns out one of the options is the auto one, which keeps the target at the current distance. That's what we should have been using to put things into the sun, because then we could very accurately decide how far in they are. Well, we now know that for the future, because let's be real, this is not going to be the last time we do this. Well, it's still plenty dangerous around here, at least. Not sure if I prefer the staggered fire or not. No need to use our uh, tractor beam then, though. Although this was a missile craft, apparently it really, really wants to be in close quarters. Let's go grab ourselves some loot. Okay, so this is a difficulty 10 to 12. Here we are, let's go and find ourselves a station. Let's go ram into everything we can see. Come on, let's move on. Why are my people suddenly out of their ship for a second? That was weird. We all good? Yeah, we're all good. Hello, station in the new zone. Whoa, lots of stuff. Wow, plus 126, limit... Oh, have we gone up a little bit too much in difficulty? I haven't really seen the ships here yet. So we were on the 7 slash 9... Oh, we've skipped a full set. That could be incredibly dangerous then. I didn't check the numbers, I just saw it was next. I mean, it is... 7 to 9, then 10 to 12, it makes sense. But yeah, there are 8 to 10s first. Okay, let's just do a couple of missions and see what we're up against. Honestly, even if we lose the Malal's Wrath, we have the resources to instantly make a new one. Eliminate the Reaper, the Raptor. Wow, look at that though for rewards, jeez. Sure. Let's go do this and see how that turns out. Okay, what do we got? So straight away, missiles on the back. You know, I feel like I've seen this one before, like the last time I played. Or something similar to this anyway, with the gap there at the front, almost like a mouth. Looks really cool. I love how he's done these like plating pieces, making it look like separate pieces. So where do I fire them? So we have two reactors there. Is that the only control room? Guessing all this is armor. We're pretty good at chunking out armor with our cannons. Yeah, I think straight for the control room. It does also mean we're going to have to hit both shields. We have enough anti-shield stuff. I think we'll be fine with that. Time to test out having so many cannons. First shield down. And there we go. Oh, one of their reactors went up. I didn't expect that. Okay. Not too bad. Ooh. Missiles got around us, though. Yeah, we need more point defense. I think that's another thing we're probably going to have to invest more heavily in. Repair water in the debris cloud. More point defense. Too many missiles got through, and that's what caused all the problems. Okay, now you. I can instantly get the reward. I know that. I'm going to hire as many people as... 26 new people. Beautiful. Uh, what I would like is to sell all that steel I've got. Because I've got loads. Then I can go and grab all the expensive stuff from over here. That was just a fight here. Ooh. Luma. 
I think that thing was just one giant railgun. Welp. Once again, we're looting everything which isn't steel. Wait, this station is dead? What killed the station? Because it wasn't me. Okay, that's worrying. We've got to find a new station then. But first, let's uh, loot the corpse. That's worrying. Maybe it was the Luma. It does look like it was hit just straight through there. I have no idea. Didn't mean to aggro this one, we got a little bit too close. This is the Death Rita. Because it looks like a Dorita. Okay. It's a diagonal ship, it has missiles, lots of missiles in fact. Lots of weapons and all kind of staggered. No shielding there down the middle though. Is this armour or what else? Oh, it's only armoured for like one layer. So, as much as it is boring to keep doing this, I think boring down this and destroying the reactor is the way to go. The control room's there, so there's no way we're ever going to take out the control room without taking out the reactor. So I'm going to go straight down the middle, get nice and close to it. Saying that, if we get too close, the missiles are going to go around us, so maybe not as close as usual. Maybe something like that. We desperately want the missiles to hit our front, not our back. Our front is armoured, our front has shields. Okay, here comes a good amount of cannons there. Once this tiny bit of armor's gone, then they can really chunk out a large amount of space and into the enemy. Yeah, we definitely need more point defense. That is something we desperately need. Shields down in the front. So what you probably do is shift a little bit like this. Just try not to lose our reactor, eh? Just keep targeting that core. There we go. Yep, now the armor's gone. Our shots go through multiple layers if I actually hit the correct place. Damn, this enemy's got a lot of firepower. Beautiful! There goes the reactor, and we win. Turning was definitely the right call. The shield had gone down over on this side as well. So we lost most of our mouth, but that's it. It's actually very cheap in comparison to what we've just got. Okay, collect everything but the stick. Actually, you know, you know what? I think I'm currently full. So, corpse or creos? Still trying to find another station. Hey, a station, and this one isn't destroyed yet. Lovely. Hello there. Okay, so these are a little bit higher level. The hull breaker. Destroy roving pirates, sure. The hereafter, there's just so many different designs to go after now. Okay. Grab the exploration one. And we'll grab... Yeah, let's see what the hole breaker is then. Down there, okay, so I went past it at one point. So this is going to be the hole breaker. I'm thinking cannons, honestly. Because I've seen missiles instantly. What else? Just. Yeah, just basic cannons. I think it's just large cannons. I like the shape of it. Ooh, tractor beams! I wonder if you're gonna pull or push me. You have no shields of your own, which makes you not the safest. Yeah, straight for the center. That's really vulnerable, actually. You're gonna use the tractor beams? Yes, you are. Okay, you are pulling me. I will push you. Wow, they carved right through my core pretty quickly, actually. So I guess the idea is, they try to go... I actually don't quite know what the idea is. Maybe they're trying to get so close they go through the core. Sorry, through the shields. Why is my tractor beam not online right now? What's going on with that? Interesting. I guess all the cannons... Oh, because the cannons have higher priority. Yeah, that's why. I didn't really account for that. That front is getting minced every single fight right now. 
Not the best. Still, we are holding our own, though. And I think we just need a second ship. We're definitely going to have the crew for it now. We're actually maxed out on crew with the Manal's Wrath. Though apparently I do need a few more in the core section here. These cannons just like so many people. Including the people I'm apparently letting die in space. Nope. Everything's fine. So this is our first rank 12 fight. Against the hereafter. Whoa. That's a lot of shields. It's a lot of everything, actually. Where's the command? So there's a control room. This is the hyperdrive, then. Reactor there. Loads of shielding there. Trying to get through that would obviously be the best bet. But with that much shielding, I doubt we can outturn this thing. Very spiky. I actually have no idea where I'm meant to be attacking first with this. All the scary weapons there on the left, so... See if we can do that, I suppose. I just added a little bit more point defense. I doubt it's going to be enough for all this, though. Yeah, I need to start using a flak, I think. Okay, if you're going to do that, then. Just go right for that reactor on the side. We've kind of lodged ourselves, I think. Yeah, not great. At least we're going through... Actually, going through here might be the best bet. Can ignore most of those shields. Oh. Game, you okay? Ah, uh, those missiles are very annoying. Yeah, I mean, a couple of the missiles are being stopped, at least. Oh, the shots are now getting through, and... Done. Accidentally a really good position there because of the uh, the mandible. Didn't take too much damage. More point defense. Just more point defense. I need it. I think more point defense and maybe a bit better positioning of some of the stuff and then the Miles Wrath is done and we can start working on our second craft. At the moment, we can afford loads more people in terms of our reputation, which is great. Our fame, that is. Also, I had to kill a, a ship which was attacking the station over here. So yeah, it's just, it's just the normal enemies are so strong here. They're actually able to take out the stations and, and its defense. If I can use more words. Shinies. More shinies. Yeah, so currently the Corn's Forge has 96 people now. It's making scrapping very quick. Still considering some mining lasers, though, just to cut through all this a bit faster. But with this many people, it's very fast. Well, this is going smoother than the last time we did this, and we ended up getting stuck on its armor. Come on, just one more good shot. There we go. Added a lot more point defense, and yeah, for the most part, it helped. Still lost a shield, though. We have an absurd amount of money right now. Next time, we need to build a new ship from scratch. We've explored Kappa. <laughs> of course we have. Okay, so 100 more fame, 100 more reputation, and some more money. What is our reputation looking like at the moment with them? Whoa, we're getting right up there. Blueprint price and everything else is decreased. More credits from rewards. Yeah, by the end, they'll be fantastic. Plus 40% extra rewards, and then minus 40% cost from for crew and resource. That is wonderful. Oh, and we're almost at a million credits as well. Obviously, we need to do at least one more mission to get the million credits. Okay, so what is this? I think I just fired railguns. Yep, two massive railguns there in the middle. Loads of missiles on the side. An obvious weak point here. But that's a lot of turning, and it's going to be lighter than us as well. Yeah, there is no way I'm going to be able to get around this. Definitely want our tractor beam on. Then I think just go for the... 
you know what? I'll try to get around, but I just don't see it happening. And I'll begin firing anyway. Okay, some of those missiles are EMP, which is not what I wanted to see. If those get our front shield down... Oh, yeah, we're in trouble. Some good shots there, though, to begin with. And are our cannon fire... Is our cannon fire getting through yet? If we just hit one of one good shot to either of those, it will cause a chain reaction. There we go, one down. Can we please get the other? That little piece, that little piece of armor right there, is a serious issue. It's catching all of our cannon fire. I'm really, really glad for the tractor beam right now. It is so handy. The missiles aren't really doing all that much, and a lot of them are being taken out before they get to us. Is that railgun down? Oh, do we take out its ammo store? I haven't seen it fire in a while. In that case... Go for the turning thrusters and move over here. Oh, those EMP missiles are an absolute nightmare to deal with. Oh, no, no, it's still firing. It is still very much firing. Just need one lucky shot to get through. That's all we need. That's not what I wanted to see. There we go. Railguns are down. Now we can either brute force through the launchers or do the original plan. I think we should try to do this. Gotta run out of missiles eventually, right? They're bulky things. So much EMP. Oh, our tractor beam has overridden them. You know what? Maybe just try and go for that reactor. We've got kind of a clear path now. We've been destroying all that. Just do his endless dance of death. There we go. Eventually a win. Not the cleanest one ever. I don't know if my tactics were the correct ones, but a win nonetheless. Definitely the hardest fight we've faced so far. That is a really cool design. And I think as well, yeah, just if we were faster, better, better at turning, especially strafing, that would have been actually quite easy. It had a very clear weak point, but we had no way of accessing it. Yeesh, I need some serious repairs. Okay, let's bring the forge over. I think it has all the stuff to repair us. Then we can also loot that body. There's a pirate... Oh. It's been defeated. Well done to you, and now we see a fight here between the two factions. A hereafter versus an onrush. Not much left of this corpse, is there? Missiles seem... odd to me. The actual explosive missiles don't seem particularly devastating, but then you have things like the nukes, which thankfully I haven't seen in use yet, and the EMP, which seems so good. But then the railguns do seem amazing, so I'm thinking EMP missiles for support and maybe a railgun artillery ship next? I really don't know what, what type of ship I'm going to be doing next. Okay, let's go home. Let's get our reward. And get to a million credits. And there's the bounty. Still 100 more fame. And there we go, over 1 million credits. I think the Malal's Wrath is worth like 1.1 million altogether with everything including the crew. So I could almost just buy another Malal's Wrath. Of course, it's cheaper than that if you have some of the resources, which I do. So I could just make a second Wrath, which would be weird, and we would have enough crew for it, which is even weirder. But no, we need a new third ship. So I'm going to ask you what type of ship we should be designing, you lovely, lovely viewers. Because I honestly am torn between so many things. 
So the Ion Beam is amazing. It's a big red death laser. It's got a decent range. In fact, I think it's quite good range. It does consistent high damage, and it can be very easily armored into the ship using the Ion Prisms, which will allow it to bounce around. In fact, let's have a look see at that in the shop. Might as well purchase them anyway. There we go. Now we have it. Expensive, but incredibly powerful. Then we have the ever lovely missiles, which can be augmented to be nukes or high explosive or EMP, so a rocket ship essentially. And then we have the railguns, which of course are just devastating. If they hit and if they don't get stopped by shields, they can just tear huge chunks out of enemies from a very, very, very long range. So, laser, missile, or railgun which is going to be the focus of the next craft. Tell me in the comments below. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Today has been really, really fun. I am loving this game still, and I'm glad we jumped the difficulty. That last fight was really enjoyable. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favorites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Cosmeteer is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much. And after the move, these videos will become a lot more frequent. Thank you. And goodbye.